Hey you, it's Abby. Here comes the sun. Do, do, do. Here comes the sun. Surprise, it's another bathroom vlog. Okay, you guys, this is gonna be probably one of the most very important videos I make. I don't know how I'm going to um, title it, but please, please listen to the whole thing. I have to ask you some very important things, okay? Before I get started, I wanted to say hi. Shout out to all you new Spoonies. Welcome to the Spoonie family. Well, I cannot spread the word. We can't spread awareness without your help. So thank you guys so much. And true Spoonies, thank you for always being here for me. I truly appreciate it. You guys don't know how much you help keep my sanity. And if you've been watching my videos for quite some time now, you probably know that my mom, Lou, has MS. Now, there's been some stuff going on that I haven't been sharing because it's still going on. If you're wondering what MS is, I'll have it in the description box below. It's muscular scoliosis. I can never say that right, but I hope that sounds right to you. Uh, where do I start? Okay, you know we had a cancer scare with mom, but not too long ago, we had found out that she developed some kind of like um, a heart issue. Like, I think it's populations, populations? But we found out it was a combination of her medications most likely caused this problem, which was um, Benzapril, Benzapril, and Lyrica. You guys do not take those together. She wasn't supposed to be. But her doctor claimed that he had gone through all of her medications and it was all safe. Do not take those together. Okay, the other thing is that mom's had MS, we have found out. Hold on, you guys. So mom's had MS for about 9, 10 years. Um, by the way, if you guys haven't met my mom yet, you got to watch that funny video I made with her, the mom take. I'll share it somewhere over here for you, so watch for that. See a little circle with an eye? You just click on it. Otherwise, I can put it in the description box below too. Now that the kids know I'm doing a video, they're going to be super loud in the back, so if you hear them. Sorry. Just recently we have found out she has not been on any MS medication. Any, I know there's no cure for MS, but there's three different kinds, three or four different kinds of MS. I told mom to talk to her doctor about um, trying this new medicine or whatever it would be. And she would bring it up to the doctor and he would always say, no matter good day, bad day, he would always tell mom, he is very happy with where she's at. And that might not sound like a big deal, but I'm sure those that have struggled dealing with chronic illnesses and pain, you know how frustrating that is. Because, yeah, you're happy with it because you're not living with it. You know, I think mom's very intimidated by a doctor. You know, she feels like she's down here and they're up here. And I know many feel that way, which I should bring that up in a video too. She's definitely been speaking up for herself now. And come to find out, this doctor has retired. Just recently retired. As mom found out, none of her medicines that she takes are for MS. Anyways, you guys. There's this one medicine that, with this new doctor, my mom has been asking about. Because she says she wants to try something. Obviously, you know, she she needs a walker these days. Um, I don't know if you guys remember her really bad accident when she was getting really good without her walker. She, you know, the drop leg with MS, she caught the rug, and there she went. Her face was all bruised, and she broke her shoulder. I think I made a video about, yeah, I made a video about that, too. The, this kind of shot steroid shot or I don't remember what it is but this one medicine it could have some really bad high risk and I believe it has to do with your heart and she's really scared about that because she's already got high blood pressure and then whatever other issue this one caused so you guys if you have MS or if you know of others with MS please share the heck out of this video all right please if any video you're going to share make it be this one okay we uh mom had shared a little thing on our of her just support group on Facebook and she didn't get any answers back. I try to make it all chronic illnesses, but um, fibromyalgia does happen to be the top one. So if you guys know anything that would help out mom, what has helped you with MS or help someone else with MS, anything, it's just, it gets scary and I know whatever she takes, make sure I research the hell out of it 
and see what could interfere with it. All this stuff, you know, all these medications have symptoms, side effects. It's scary, you know? If you guys have any information, you know, anything, any tips at all for mom, I'd really appreciate it. There's no cure, but if we at least can find something to prolong it, prolong the MS. Because what happens is when you have MS and you're not taking meds, you're going down and down and down, depending what MS you got. It just keeps going down and going down and going down. She's got a foot brace, but now they want to give her leg braces too. Because her knees are bending the opposite direction. Instead of like, like say this is your knee. Instead of going like this, it's going the other way. And it's really killing those muscles in there. And she's been working so hard on her walking. And she does really good for not taking any MS medication at all. When you get a good... Guys, that was mom on the phone. Um, so some of you had wondered about her uh, ultrasound for her boobies. And she called just to tell me now that they did find a couple masses in her left breast. So they say it does look cancerous. So she needs a biopsy done. I don't know the date yet. Fingers crossed that it's nothing. It's just there. We seem to get the weirdest. You guys know our family with so much crazy medical crap going on. It's ridiculous. So hopefully it's just nothing. Pray to God it's just nothing. Yeah, please share this video. Thank you if you were one of the few that watched all the way through. I I don't remember anything else I was going to say. Just make sure you keep your eyes on the description box. Love yous and um, I hope you're doing alright. Hang in there if you're not. Tell me how you're doing. And I love talking with you guys. I really do. I hope you're having a good day. Alright, I'll see you next video.